Steven, and uh, this is my new channel to review. Uh, in this channel, pretty much, I will be covering tech, uh, mostly unboxing and uh, gameplays. I'll be also doing um, a lot of game walkthroughs, a lot of tutorials, a lot of how tos. And so, um, in this channel, pretty much, this is my first video up on the, on YouTube, and uh, I'm kind of I'm coming kind, of, kind of nervous. Uh, so pretty much this, this this video I'm just gonna quickly show you guys my gaming computer as of 2015. Um, it's an old system I've had it since 2008, but I've been adding and adding and adding to it. So um, you know it's it's a well-established system I want to say. Um, well enough about me. Let me go ahead and show you guys my gaming computer. But this is my PC. This is the Silverstone FTO3, and um, I love this the little computer here this is my first build this computer here is where everything started my first PC build and so let's pull this up um, here I have a 120 millimeter fan uh, this is a Delta fan so this is really more of a server fan than anything else it is quite noisy if I was to blast it up you know I was to really uh, crank up the RPMs it, it goes up to 3000 some odd up RPMs so it's, it gets really noisy um, especially when I'm editing videos and such uh, if I'm rendering videos and it's generally speaking like a 4k video or a 1080p video it's gonna it heats up man my CPU goes crazy and uh, this thing gets really loud uh, so I'm looking to replace these fans uh, they do great for temperature, freaking awesome for temperature control, but they're quite noisy. Um, here you guys will see sort of the beginnings of a GTX 770 Classified Edition. Uh, and here you sort of see the beginnings of uh, of my motherboard. And uh, my motherboard is actually the Rampage Gene 3 from Asus. Probably one of the better boards that I've seen in my life, man. Um, I really recommend this this sort of board. Side panel pops off very easily just by pulling up. Uh, that's one of my likes about this. Uh, one of my little perks about this case is being able to take the side panel off really quickly. Uh, but here we have, I don't know if you guys can see that real well. Let me turn that. My lighting here is horrible, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, but here we have my... Well, the inside of my system. Uh, so there's two of these massive fans. These are once again 120 millimeter fans. Uh, this is the Corsair, um, the H80i. Um, really awesome cooler. Uh, but these guys pretty much are gonna be. I replaced the fans and I put, I put the fans that came with this, the stock fans, in on these two mounts here. Uh, but generally speaking, what's keeping the system uh, cool right now? It's going to be these two guys right here. Um, what else is there? My graphics card is huge, so as you guys can see, this thing takes quite a bit of room inside of the case, and my case is pretty goddamn compact. But this right here is a this is a um what's it called again? This guy is uh. It's a core, no, I'm sorry, this is a Silverstone 850, yeah, Silverstone 850 gold, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can pop the side panel off for you guys so you guys can see. Um, so this is my CD-ROM drive thing, the slot load. Uh, let's see, yeah, there you go. So, the Strider, Silverstone Strider, 850. So freaking overkill for what I got but you know what I was planning on buying two of these graphics cards um, and I'm still planning on buying two of these graphics cards I mean at the time of this video the 970 is already out and I should be thinking of replacing this with a 970 but uh, I don't know man it's it is it really worth it is it I mean I overclocked this card and I'm getting close to what I'm actually getting some some of my numbers are actually even better than what his 970 is doing right now, uh, and with the whole issue with the 970 only having about 3.5 um, gigs of actual usable memory, well, 
it really has four, but 3.5 really counts for high speed data. So, I mean, uh, this is an actual four gig card. <laughs> so, I would rather buy two of these guys as for, you know, I'm going to be probably doing any like uh, 4K gaming soon in the future. Now, what else is there to mention? So, these cables are. Um, are Bit Phoenix cables, and as you can see, their their sleeving is quite nice, uh, very awesome. And as you can see, my wiring is, I would say, it's pretty, pretty. I kept, I try to keep everything real nice in here because God knows it's freaking hard to keep all your wiring nice and tidy in a case like this. But um, overall, I would say, um, oh yeah, my memory. Memory, it's a Corsair Vengeance, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, you guys can't get in there. But, let me see if I can turn that thing on. No, I can't. Uh, but it's Corsair Vengeance, that memory that's in there. Uh, right now, I only have 4 gigs of RAM actually in there. Uh, reason why, I used to have 6, but the reason why I only have 4 is because uh, one of the dims went, went bad and I had to take it out. I haven't had the time to replace it or buy another dim. Um, what else is there? Uh, everything, all the lights up here and the lights down here are all temperature controlled, which means that blue stands for, it looks sort of white in my camera, but it's blue right now. And blue stands for cool temps. Um, so, so you guys can see in here, there's, they're blue. And, um, at the bottom, these green lights, well... I don't know that they're, I don't know if these are programmed. Yeah, I don't know if these are programmed. These should be programmed with my motherboard. My motherboard isn't that hot, I believe. I hope not. It'd be a little scary. But pretty much, blue is anywhere between, if I'm not mistaken, 60, no, I'm sorry, 20 to 35, no, I'm sorry, 20 to 45 Celsius is, um, is blue. So my CPU is about 40 degrees Celsius probably, and so is the, so is this guy, so is my uh, graphics card. All right, guys. So pretty much on this side, let me go ahead and put the camera down, so that you guys can see the other side. This is the other side. This is the Corsair um, commander module thing that they have. Um, this is where like all the nodes connect to, and also the uh, the the fan node that I have up here also connects to this. Um, this is a HGST four terabyte hard drive. This is a Western Digital Green two terabyte hard drive, and here you'll see we have two. Uh, Kingston HyperX SSDs. Um, these two SSDs are in RAID 0. And guys, be honest. That cable management for this tower <laughs> is beautiful. Because this is by the far one of the hardest cases to cable manage on. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have a spaghetti mess of cables down here. But this case, by far, is one of the hardest cases to actually... Um, What's it called again? To actually, uh, to do any work on, really. I mean, to, it's just hard to get components in here. So, I mean, uh, this is the back. And you guys saw the other side. This is the other side. And, uh, yeah. I used uh, B Bit Phoenix cables for both the 8-pin uh, power supply as well as the 24-pin uh, power supply. These cables are, are a little longer than normal. They're about, these guys are it's about 12 inches long so I had to kind of coil some of them <laughs> especially the A pin I had to coil it at the back that's why you see that mess but uh, yeah so there is my system oh by the way the best thing that I've done and the best mod I would say I have done to these things has been this this is foam um, yeah yeah ha 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 I have a beach chair as my chair uh, once again, this is the storage room, so I, I was I haven't been able to bring over my uh, 
my uh, my nice chair for my other room. But anyways, um, this is um, what's it called again? This is sound dampening foam, and uh, I have it on um, on the side panels. I have it also on the main side panel here, and I have it also inside all over inside the case you guys notice this is all sound dampening foam and I did it so that I can keep the case warm I mean not warm so I can keep the case quiet because these fans holy shit are they loud but yeah so another look at uh, hidden spaghetti messes of cables this is the uh, the coarser link this is the node uh, the lighting node that goes up here for these guys and um, this is the uh, fan controller that goes in for um, all the fans inside of the case. It's actually all the fans are connected to that thing. Uh, so it's really not that bad. Uh, but yeah, overall guys, this has been a sort of like a small walkthrough of my gaming computer. And uh, I hope you guys liked the video. I'm going to be putting out more videos for you guys and hopefully you guys like them. So... Take care, guys.